Hello, hello, how are you? Okay, how are you doing? I'm so good. I am so excited to talk to you because you're one of my favorite actresses. So thank you for your time today. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, it was funny because on my Facebook feed, it just popped up that last year at this time, I was watching Lovecraft Country. Like, you know, um, I was obsessed with that show. And I honestly, Ingenue, I didn't know that you could top yourself. I am so upset that that show didn't get renewed. Did you have a good time making it? Because it was a toughie. Uh, I had a great time. Oh my God. I It was, it was one of the most um, rewarding and fun um acting experiences I've ever had it was just it was just a it was it was it was a Christmas gift it was a Christmas gift it was no it was better than a Christmas gift it was a birthday gift okay My birthday gifts are a little better I get it I get it for sure little, yeah but birthday it was it was a it was a birthday gift it was so it was it was a joy and I hate that it's not coming back to because outside of just the the great fun I had Making it in the Hippolyta, yeah. Hippolyta, um, the epicness wow. of that character and the epic quality of that show. Yeah. I mean, I just had a great time working with the people. I, those, those, the actors on that show are just dazzling. Yeah, well, it was a, it was a birthday gift to me. I have to tell you, I I, I so enjoyed watching it and, and your performance. And now I watch you in the subject, and like I say. I don't even know how she keeps topping herself. Like your performance in this was so brilliant. Um, what was your initial reaction when you were handed this script? What did you think? Oh, well, I, I just love Chisa's, Chisa's words, Chisa Hutchinson's words. Um, she's a young, you know, young, young writer. Um, I'm always interested and excited about working with young writers and she, as a playwright, but now, you know, she's moving into script writing and this is, you know, I think pretty sure her first uh, produced film. Yeah. Um, and that's exciting to me. It's really exciting to me. Um, and then the, this character of a, a, a woman who is grieving the loss of a son at this point, because of the world that we live in, and we were reflecting the world that we live in, it can be a kind of a trope because we see it so much, the grieving black mother. Yeah. So what do you do with that to make it, to set, to make it apart from that? Right. Uh, apart from that, um, you know, expectation of what that character would be. And you do it with, with the words. And that's what Chisa did. So I think so in such a such a lovely, wonderful way is that she gave flesh to this character. She gave nuance to her. Yeah. Um, and that's 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 when I saw that, I said, oh no, this is what this is something that I want to be a part of. Yeah. And you kind of can't blame her how she feels. You know, I'm a mom. Yeah. I, I would yeah. be the same way. I would be the same way. Right. And then, you know, I, I had the opportunity to talk to, to Jason the other day and I was telling him when I watched that whole third act between the two of you in, in the house, I go to me, I was sitting on a, in a Broadway theater watching the masterclass theater actors going at it. You two, honestly, it was, it was riveting. Take me back to shooting that whole sequence with Jason did you guys discuss it a lot before or did you just go at it? Well, we did, we did. We talked about it because we wanted the ending to be, hmm, to be something that viewers would continue to talk about after the, after the credit, when the, after the credits roll. Yeah, yeah. Um, we didn't want to, we didn't want it to feel complete. We wanted folks to wonder what's going to happen with these folks. What's going to happen to them when we leave? What are they about to do? Right. You know, um, so we wanted it to have that quality. So we talked about that. We worked on that together. Um, so it would it would have that. Um, and then after that, you know, we just were able to just just go in and and, you know, be in the in the workshop. Just, right. just try to figure it, just try to figure it out. Um, and Jason being the 
just really, really generous actor and person that he is, um, that was that was a that was a joy to do. There were there were no rules, you know what I mean? Like sometimes yeah. you work with actors and you know, yeah. of course there's respect, but there's all these rules, you know what I mean? And and he's one of those actors that I love working with, where it was just like, okay, what do we have to do to make it work? And, and we just have to do whatever that is. Yeah. Um and that's 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 the spirit that he worked with, that he works with. And and yeah. That's what happened. I have to ask you, Anjanu, how do you decompress after all these tough roles that you give us? You know, there are there's some hard hitting things that you've been giving us over the years. After, you know, set, you're, it's cut. How do you decompress? <laughs> well, you know what? I, I, this, it's fun for me. I don't, I get that question a lot and I understand it because I do play these characters who are in, like in the worst moments of their lives, right? They, the worst moments of their lives. Here I am, give me that part, you know? So you would think yeah. that, you know, I would come home and I'm in the bath and I'm, you know, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I love playing that. I love doing that kind of work. And the reason why, and, and I, in a lot of times play characters that are based on real people. At least in the last few years, yeah. I have been I've been doing that quite a bit. Yeah. And so the joy that I get with being the voice for these women who, without the without the fearlessness of these filmmakers, would no one would never know who they who they are. So I I'm the voice of these women. It's why I want to act. Yeah. It's why I want to act. I I toiled in the wilderness a long time playing characters that were just not fun. They weren't interesting. I get it. You know, because they were, the, they were these manufactured creations of that just sort of fed the machine. Do you know what I mean? Totally, yeah. And th this, is, this is the kind of work that I've been doing with the subject and with other things that I've been doing yeah. is, is not that. And I, I have a blast doing it. Well, you know, look, you make it so real. I, I, I appreciate every performance that you do and talk about real people. Next up, we are going to see you in King Richard, which I cannot wait to see because I'm a big Venus and Serena fan anyway. But to play their mom, to work opposite Will Smith in this capacity, yeah. tell me a little bit about that. I'm so excited for this film. The buzz is like beyond. <laughs> Listen, um, I had a, I had a, I don't do, this doesn't happen a whole lot, but I definitely had a moment when we were shooting where I looked around, I looked at Will, I looked at these wonderful women, young women who are playing, playing Your my daughters, daughters yeah. on, on, at least on, on camera, they're my daughters. Um, and I looked at Ronaldo Marcus Green, who I love, the director. Yeah. And I just was, I just, I, I just was thinking, okay, what karmically did I do that I deserve this moment? Because this was something that somewhere in my lifetime, somewhere in my lifetime, I did something right. There was one thing that I did right. Oh, come and this, on. this is like the universe saying, okay, girl, that time that you did that right thing, here you go. Here you go. You wow. know? Yeah, it was it 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 definitely is that because I'm I'm like you. I love Venus and Serena. I love them so much. You know, they're just my heroes. They're my heroes. They're cultural heroes, sports heroes, political heroes. Yes, you know, womanist heroes. You know, they're all of that. And to be a part of that storytelling, is so exciting to me. So exciting. I hope it does well. I hope I hope it it's received in the spirit that we tried to tried to make it. So inspiring. Like, I mean, did you spend time with with um, with their mom, or did or with with Venus and Serena to get a sense of what it was like for, for them to grow up in that family? Well, we we were very, we were privileged to to listen to recordings of Miss Miss Oracine. Uh, didn't get to meet her. The show shut down before we could sort of yeah you know do that. Uh, but I did listen to her recordings and they came by set once. So got to be a little close to them. 
Yeah, yeah that's wonderful. I can't, I can't wait for that. And, and I would just, before I wrap up, I, what is it now when you get something, what moves you, what makes you take on a role at this point in your career? Yeah, you know, I, I, I just feel that, you know, Black women particularly, um, there's so much history that no one knows about. Yeah. <laughs> that no one knows about. That even, even myself, that I'm just learning so much about, about Black womanhood in this country that, that has been erased or that has been, you know, um, told, but told in a way that's from a man's point of view, right. you know, and, and I feel like, I feel like I'm a bit of a soldier in terms of, I want to battle for those, those unheard voices, yeah. unheard, un, 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 the women who have not been spoken of. Um, so that's what gets me. That's what's, that's what excites me. Yeah, well, like I said, you know, you talked about a birthday gift earlier. You're your birthday gift to me. Thank you so much for your time today because honestly, everything you do, you're so, so good. And I've just loved following your career um, just from the get-go. And uh, I love talking to you and I really do appreciate you. So thank you so much for your time today. Best of luck with everything, the subject. I, honestly, I, I don't know how you keep topping yourself. I really do not. And then we, we, you have a TV series coming as well. Is that true? Oh yeah, 61st Street. Yeah, that looks amazing yeah. with Courtney Vance. Oh yeah. my God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Can't wait. I can't wait. My AMC DVR will be set. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much for your time this Thank morning. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have All a great right. day. Take care. Hope bye to bye. see you soon. Bye. You too. Take care. Okay.